Welcome That's back, Witcher. Nice. Yesterday we dealt with the, uh, the serious bullshit. There's no real word for Let's it go. other than that. And now we're going to continue on looking for the White's uh, lair. Um, why is he under beast? He's a vampire. Hmm. Um, specters. What? When did I fight that thing? Wraith from the painting. Do I not have... Is it a vampire? Um... Shelmar. Shelmars, yeah. They're relics, which I guessed. Goliath killed him. I'm looking for Scurvers. Those are the names of the spiny ones. Spotted whites are necrophages. Okay. Necrophage oil, igni. Yeah, okay. It's about what I expected. Okay. Well, I learned something. Uh, uh, okay, so we're looking for this white. Uh, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's a foglet. Okay, cool. See you later. I don't feel like dealing with level 40 foglets. But we may have to. Hey! Hold still, you dumb animal. Well, I mean, guess you're a demon. Oh, foglets are here. Ow, ow. It's Quinn. Where are you going? You gonna fuck with me? Ow. Fuck you. Your ass was on fire. I see you. You ain't slick. Now you dead. Did that barg drop anything? Emerald dust, bargest essence. Okay. Uh, we're super close to our destination, so um, I guess it wants us to go this way. Let's beast areas B. It is. Panthers killed one of them. Um, bargest spectrals. Okay. It's like the Hellhounds from the first game. Um, Spectre oil? Okay. Should we... We'll apply it now that we're going to need necrophage oil for the, the white. Spectre oil. I never got the superior version of a couple of these. I probably should. Yeah, I can hear them. He's right there. How you like that silver? That's not what I meant to do. But it's okay. I meant to lock on. I changed the buttons around, so I know. Ah, lesser blue mutagens, whatever. It's kind of garbage. Those are... Those are different spoons and ladles. What the fuck? Oh, that's right. They talked about the silverware hanging from the... That's right. even wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Oh, geez, there's a whole pack. This might be trouble. Oh, God, they can do ghosty stuff. Ow. That's probably not actually doing anything to them. Uh, let's try hard. Ah, it's not off charge. Ah, you little fucker. Yeah, hard's not really. Just, just spam the spam R1. I know that's not the right because I'm using my mouse, but oh, I knocked him down. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. You ain't slick. I'm better than you. Just picks up my health. No more health. Specter dust, and I probably don't have a use for that. Alright, I'm at full health. Let's go. I actually lost track of time. I think we're five minutes in. 
Since the last episode ran long. I get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message. Trying to tell me something. Yeah, but what? What kind of message could spoons give? Ooh, look at all the spoons. <laughs> this door's probably locked, huh? Yeah. Well, here we go. Hmm. shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Can I read these? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Okay, so that basically tells me how to kill the thing. I gotta use a mirror. Can I read this one? No, I can't. Let's read that. Uh, is there a quick key to V? Marlene, my dearest daughter, you have no idea the pain it causes a father to write these words. A father who must abandon his own child ceases cease to be a father, and his heart shall never know comfort. Sadly, as a result of what has happened, I have no other choice. We, along with the rest of the household, must abandon our estate. It is because that curse took you from us, leaving in your stead a blo mindless, bloodthirsty creature. We shall go north, to Kovir, and if you ever read this letter, which could only mean you have returned to human form, you are to look for us there. For my part, I can only promise each year as to send an envoy who will be tasked with checking in on you, seeing if you are alive and, if so, in what form. Faith that you will once again be my beloved Marlene. Give or be my beloved. That's whoa, brain working. Faith that you will once again be my beloved Marlene gives me the strength to live on. Perhaps the curse will not last forever. Perhaps someone will come along. You, you can lift this burden from you. Shouldn't that say who? Who can lift this? But whatever. Okay, so... We know that the ghost... This, not ghost. The creature's name. The pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. So can I break the Spoon. curse? Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Hmm. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. There's a silver spoon. A spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. A uh, note from the spoon says, This certifies the item up for auction, an antique spoon key forged at the Christophson and Sons workshop in 1210. Belonging to Smiggle Circus, owner of the pheasantry. White's obsessed. Real collector. Oh, let's read this. Thoroughbred. None shall sit in the Ah, it's the same curse. Table. Okay. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Hmm. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. Decaying letter. Dear Master Levisseur, I butchered that. Uh, I know you track outlaws for pay. I am an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I've drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me as for the person with whom I meet. For I am afflicted by a curse, or, as I hope and why I have turned to you, 
the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by a herbalist. Soon after I visited this herbalist, she disappeared without trace. I dis desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much from her as you can about the medicine she gave me. If my suffering is a result of her wickedness, then make her provide an antidote. I assure you I have ample wealth and reward you with no small part of it for your service. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, please let her go. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse which only the gods can cure. <clears throat> I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was housing a soiree for a few friends. If you can find the vagrant, I will pay, uh, pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. I am aware that this is not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you the best of luck. So is that supposed to be... More fucking spoons. Uh, Master Mirror? Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Uh, from... No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. From the last expansion. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. It's probably the same curse, but I would like to read it if I can. It won't let me. Hmm. Now I know there's a basement, or not an episode. Yeah, it is a basement, okay. Um, but before we go that way, if I could up the speed a little. Journal. Great, more reading. Oh boy, okay. For a few days now, I have been having dizzy spells. I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit our herbalist. The dizziness has now has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist, a repulsive old crone looking at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today there are no wrinkles, but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's got to be because of those damned herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. She must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I am cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I have tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I had to chase off one, one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness. No family. Eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing. Eat. It hurts. Mirror. Lies. No. Ah. Okay, oh, so... Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. More spoons. So many spoons. Broken mirror. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. Okay, the so... Monster. Journal's author, maybe? A young girl, maybe maybe not so young since she turned away a beggar, so I'm assuming probably early 20s or so. Turned away a beggar who sold mirrors, possibly Master Mirror from the Heart of Stone DLC. Um, his name actually escapes me at the moment. And he cursed her to turn into a beast. Actually does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Oops. I actually mean to put those out. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Light the fucking White's candles. Obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Hmm. Now the question becomes can I break the curse and how do I get the saliva? Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Looking for why it's not particularly tidy. Are those my footsteps. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. 
Uh, necrophage oil's red, I think. Where's my necrophage oil? Is that one of the ones I never maxed out? I guess not. Just in case. This here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to lift it. Greater green mutagen. Okay. Another spoon. Yeah. Yep. All right, Gerald, we get it. Was the last one. More spoon. I'm not gonna look at any more spoons. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Um, before we do that, we're gonna go down this way a little. Perhaps this is a bad idea. Mushrooms. There's something down here. Something gross. Oh my goodness. Look at all these spoons. Oh, another journal. Uh, curses that change your fellow into a monstrous creature have existed since the dawn of time. They have a variety of origins and a variety of effects. It normally happens that a major sorceress casts a curse and the spell changes the subject. It doesn't always happen straight away. Sometimes the person who has been cursed changes slowly bit by bit. It also happens that a normal fellow can cast a curse, someone whose conscience is clear and who has done good in their life. Such a person can acquire power, and thus the aggrieved can place a curse on the evildoer. Such curses are strong and cannot be removed easily. Thus, everything by which human suffering is atoned is long-lasting and painful. White's obsessed. A real collector. Yeah, I know. Thoroughbred. Do I, do I want to go down there? I feel like there's something down there. Maybe after? We'll fight this thing first. We are kind of running out of time, but that's okay. gonna hurt you wanna help I've seen the words of the curse on the walls think I know how to lift it Tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Shall say to you, never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. 
So no spoon slash uh, it's number three. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Oh, I can only imagine what that is. <laughs> Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Good thing witches are immune to poison. <laughs> Make this a little long. Let's see what happened to the white. Its stench. She ran outside. Yeah. Where'd she go? She went over. She went over the fountain. Ah, you little shit heel. Come here. You always gotta just dodge every fucking attack. Alright. Give me your loot real quick. Okay. Um, I'm poisoned. How did that happen? Alright. Fall on her. Gonna counteract the poison a little. Oh shit, more? Oh, you're right there. I thought he was on the other side of the wall. Oh. Knocked him down. Do you just die? You're slowing my progress. We're already kinda out of time. I just wanna see what the end of this is. Still down here? Past Roach? She's back to normal. Easy. She's Not old though. You. Eat. I, I must eat. That's a good shot of Roach. <laughs> oh, she's old. I'll take you someplace safe. How long has she been cursed? So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basil Folti, and by order of the Duchess, I am to serve as your major domo at Corfo Bianco. Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. 
An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Uh, well, we're not gonna... It's all over. That's what matters. Let's now focus on taking care of Marlena. Naturally. I shall see to it. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Cool. Uh, so this is apparently our house. Uh, not that it matters because the episode is over. If I can find the exit. That's a bedroom. Um, cool little quest. I guess, I mean, it's part of the main story, I guess. So it's, you know, it's whatever. But handled it nicely, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Bit long. Sometimes it happens, you know. Makes up for probably yesterday's episode being short, I can assume. Uh, what with um, the shit that we had to deal with uh, in the last video. But, cool. Thanks for watching.